So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, here at Bald Eagle State Park. And in a moment here, I will get the maps out and show you exactly where we're at, what I'm kind of planning on doing here at the state park today. I wasn't planning on being here this early. I had other plans. I was hoping to get to like a plane crash up on a mountain somewhere, but I think I explained that in the most recent video. Kind of had to reassess that situation. I'm a little, even though I didn't even go looking for it, I'm kind of worn out from it. It took me forever just to find the road that I needed to get to where I was going to park, and then I couldn't do it anyway, and ugh, oh, it was kind of stressful. But anyway, we're here by the lake to relax now and enjoy a nice little peaceful hike. Here is our Pennsylvania map, and we are currently here at Bald Eagle State Park. Oh, we're actually in Center County. I think I said we were in Clinton County. That's because earlier today we were. I spent the night camping here at Ravensburg State Park over here in Clinton County. We had to visit some other spots yesterday too. I was hoping to get to that one plane crash up here, here in the Lock Haven, but like I said, it didn't work out. But now we're over here in Center County here at Bald Eagle State Park. And here is the State Park map. Got a huge lake here. It's a man-made lake. I think there's actually some ruins along this one trail that you can find. Several old uh, cemeteries over here. Maybe we'll check those out. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm gonna. I'm parked right here. I'm gonna hike this Whoopalone Trail. I'm not sure how to say that there. At least to start out. Here, right here along the lake trail. That should be calming. And maybe there's some other trails here we might hike. There were some up here I was thinking about doing, but the lake was calling to me. And plus, I read that the lake is a good place to see. Some bald eagles. So we haven't seen one of those for a while. So maybe if I sit out here somewhere for lunch, who knows? Maybe we'll see some wildlife, lake-wise, like some eagles and ducks and stuff. We'll see. All right, I'm just gonna try and relax. Like I'm a little bit stressed out, just trying to get that one adventure going, and it didn't. It still stressed me out anyway. So we're just gonna try and relax. All right, we'll say goodbye to the lake for now. We'll see it again shortly, probably, but we're gonna hit up. The trail I'm gonna take is right up here. It's parked by one of the boat launch areas. The winter boat launch. I guess I showed that to you on the map. Here's our trail. Looks like the sign for it fell off. But there's definitely a trail here. Right along a lake. All right, let's go for a, what will hopefully be a peaceful, tranquil hike. Should say it's a beautiful day. It's only, I don't know, it's not even 70 degrees right now. It's beautiful. Beautiful birds singing. There's a lot of birds out here. Try to zoom in on some of them. That looks, oh, the wind is blowing. That looks like a cat bird, maybe. From what I can see on the screen. Up oh, there it goes though. There's one way up there too. Can't really tell when the camera's... Is that a... That might be a, some kind of sparrow. Yeah. There's a spot on the breast there. Maybe a song sparrow? Check that when I get home. All right, we'll zoom out. Okay, that one was far away. <laughs> All right. You know, I often get asked, why don't you film with a GoPro when people see what I film with? I don't film with a GoPro or an action camera. I have, I do have the DJI Osmo action camera that I use as my dash cam, but a GoPro can't do what I just did, zooming way in on wildlife like that. It's one of the reasons why I use the camera I do. It's the Sony AX43. It's a camcorder, but it has that great zoom in abilities, which to me is important. Well, like I said, it is a great day to be out. I'm starting to relax now. I can feel the stress leaving me <laughs> just as we're out here in nature now again. Just frustrating when you're in a new area and trying to find old dirt mountain roads that aren't labeled and yeah. 
can be a bit difficult sometimes. I'll oh, check out. We got some. Uh, I think these are, they call these yellow flags. I don't know if I've ever seen the yellow ones before. Probably, but they have blue flags too. They are. They're in the iris family. A lot of you might have irises planted in your gardens. I don't know why they call them flags though. Yellow flag. They're pretty though. There's a bunch more over here. Unfortunately, I think they are <laughs> invasive. I don't believe they're a natural, like a native species here. I think some places they can be a bit of a nuisance, if I remember reading correctly. But they are, they are beautiful though, yellow flags. There's tons of this white clover. A lot of you have this in your lawns. You, if you, this stuff is actually edible. You can make a tea from the flowers. Some people dry the flowers and then make the tea, or you can just steep the regular flowers. I've tried it a couple times. Um, it wasn't anything like super awesome, but supposedly does have some medicinal qualities to it. So that's something you could try sometime. Make some white clover tea. It's definitely common. <laughs> it's probably in your yard. There's more of those yellow flags over there. And check out this view. Yeah, I think we gotta get a picture of that. All right, no eagles yet, but I haven't really been looking either. So, we'll see. Some people out there on boats. But our trail continues on. Yeah, the brochure that I had mentioned that you might be able to find some ruins along this trail, like old wells and stuff, because this is a man-made lake. So people used to live here at one point, but it's looking a bit, uh, maybe in the winter time or early spring you could see, but I don't know, we'll see. It might be too late to find those things this time of year with all the foliage coming back. But we'll keep our eyes open yet. Sometimes in situations like that, if you find little side trails that go off, sometimes those go to interesting things. Some beautiful views though. Let's see what on this guy. can't tell from the camera screen what that is. Well, it's a bird, obviously, but... Oh, there you go. Got some more wildflowers over there. There's purple ones. Here's a common wildflower. This is called fleabane. It's called fleabane for a reason. Uh, it's got like a natural insecticide, uh, pyrethrum, I think it's called. Well, it doesn't kill bugs, it, re it repels them. I think in the old days they would put this in their like cupboards or their drawers and stuff. Keep bugs away. Fleabane. This is, uh, one name for this is, uh, was it, Dame's Rocket? I think there's other names for it too. Got the beautiful purple flowers, four petals each. I just passed some other folks back there and they came from this way. Said that there's, they saw a lot of neat birds up here. Some nice colorful ones, like some Orioles and Indigo Buntings, which are a beautiful blue color. So we'll try to keep our eyes open a little bit more. See if we can find some of those for you. It's, it's one thing to find them. It's another thing to get them on film for you. As you can see, as soon as you zoom in on them, they fly off. It's, it's like they know. Well, that guy's zooming in on me, and then, then they fly away. <sighs> All right, we got a bird hollering at us up there. Oh, flies off. All right, but there's a red-winged blackbird, a male, scolding us up there. 
His wife probably has a nest nearby. Where'd you go, buddy? I lost him. Oh, he's up there, actually. And just as a side note, too, when it comes to trying to film these birds, you know, what you're seeing on your computer screen is a lot bigger image than what I'm seeing on my little camera screen, little two by three screen. So sometimes when I'm zooming like that, I can't always tell. It's not until I get home that I see, oh, I have a much bigger image to see than what I can see out here. All right, bird sighting up ahead. A cloudy day too for a birdie for uh, filming birds. You gonna sing for us again? Some kind of a moth or a butterfly down there. Kind of blends in. Looks like a fallen leaf, but that's a. You see the antennas there and the eye. Whoops! I'm trying to hold the camera straight. So we've had birds, wildflowers, butterflies. Now we got some mushrooms. This is called Dryad Saddle. Little ones. They're actually edible at this size. They kind of taste like cucumbers. But once they get bigger, they get like woody and not very tasty. Some of these are called pheasant back too. And just down below here is a critter. Check out this guy. Where are you, buddy? There's a millipede. Boy, he's beautiful. Let me zoom in on him a little bit, if I can. Oh, I forget what the name is. The flat-backed? These are slightly different. Right there he is again. We have the also the uh, giant American millipede, but they're more round. This one's kind of more flat. All right, we'll let him go though. That's beautiful right there. I'll have to look that up, what kind of butterfly that is. I like when they just sit there and pose for you. Let him go though. Yeah, there's the name of that trail. Yeah, so that is the end of that trail, however you pronounce it. Coming down to another boat ramp here, so now we need to find a trail that'll take us back. There's some different options. One's called the Butterfly Trail, and there's the other one's called the Skyline Trail. All right, well, I came to the end of the parking lot. I was hoping there would be a trail, like an unmarked trail that I could take that would hook me up with some other things. It looks like there kind of is here. Oh man, I don't know about this one. This is more just a trail along the shoreline here. But are some of the other trails start not too far from here. Let's see where this goes. All right, well, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm all the way over here at this parking lot here. I was hoping, this is the trail I took here, made it to here. I was hoping there'd be a, cause I'm gonna get to this trail right here. I was hoping to cut across 
to this road, but we'll have to backtrack to that road there. I oh, just found another one of those millipedes. Make his way across the road here. The car coming, buddy. <laughs> I'm still making my way up to find some other trails, but they do have a little monument here. I'll probably take advantage of that bench in a moment too. Have a little break. I think this is the Sayre monument. Foster Joseph Sayers, or Sayers. Private First Class Congressional Medal, Medal of Honor winner, born in 1924. Killed in action November 12, 1944. This planting of trees in Liberty Township, Center County, was made by the Pennsylvania Department of Highways with the cooperation of the following people. That's cool. 20 years old, 1924 to 1944. All right, so now we need to find that trail, which according to the map is just, just in there. If I don't see a trail, uh, leading to it anywhere. Um, yeah. I think we'll see. <laughs> Let's go up. I'll go up this way a little bit. Looks like there's a clearing up here. Maybe we'll be able to see up there. All right. Well, I decided to dive in. May have chosen poorly here, but the trail should be up here somewhere. So just bust through this stuff. Yes, yeah, right here's a trail. This is what we want. Right here. All right. We're good. Yes, yeah, so this is what we want here. The butterfly trail. We'll head up this way. Not sure how many butterflies we'll see, but away we go. Yeah, I'm glad it's not a sunny, hot day. Otherwise, this trail would be warm. But day like this and an ice spy wow see a splash of purple back there we gotta check that out can't miss that wow oh those are more of those uh dames rockets but there's a bright back here wow you can hear tons of birds all off in the brush. Oh, there's oh no, it flies off. There's a robin, but they're uh, they're difficult to see in all <laughs> in all this. They're in there. You can hear them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a second. Oh, it flies off. That is. Oh, I don't think ever. That's a some kind of warbler. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that too well. Yeah, that was a type of warbler, I think. Maybe, oh, I just caught a glimpse of it there, even with the camera. Had that black face. I wonder if that's oh, it's a yellow throat, maybe? Oh. Once again, that's the problem with trying to film birds. You wish they would just, like, get to a spot and just pose for you. But, man, they're always on the move. But, yeah. Don't see this too often. All right. And I had pretty much forgotten about a little failed adventure this morning trying to find an airplane. Actually, I had forgotten about it for a while until just recently here came to mind, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. Kind of glad we're here right now. If I had gone through with it and kept pressing on, even despite, you know, my, inst my gut telling me it's not a good idea, we'd still be up there somewhere. Who knows where? I feel like I'd be up there all day. And we never... But it would have would have had the chance to be down here, here at Bald Eagle State Park. So I'm glad this worked out. It's a beautiful day for this hike. Like I said, I'll reassess the airplane situation maybe some other time. But uh, for now, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, just some beautiful scenery out here. Yes, yeah, so eventually this will come out somewhere else and we'll have to loop around back to where I parked. But no rush. 
All right, so we've come down from here, took a little shortcut. The butterfly trail is still up there. It would have continued on that way, but come down here to the road. And according to the map, there should be a trail down here somewhere. Cause we still gotta make our way up that way. I'd rather not do a road walk, but this might be a trail right here. I do believe so. Yeah, so this will take us back down to the lake and back to where we parked, hopefully. Yeah, I see the lake up ahead there. And back down to the lake again. Beautiful scenery. Yeah, this was just mowed recently. I can smell that grassy, herby smell from the mowing. All right, we just got a little ways to go then. And then just like that, there's Naomi up there. So it's about one o'clock now and we've got about a two hour drive home. So that works out fairly well. Maybe it's good we didn't go searching for that airplane today. But anyway, I had a great time here, hiking around, seeing all the wildlife and the beauty, so. Hope you enjoyed it too. Beautiful place to hike. So always thanks for coming along and we'll see you on the next one.